Scheduled in like Otis Wank Week. <laughs> yeah. 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 I swear to God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> exhausting. <laughs> it's yeah. like those are the weeks we go through. So I step, I step into my trailer, have my costume, t shirt, corduroy trousers, jacket, boner. Great. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> ready to go. I'm ready to go. Tools for the day. <laughs> well, Chuti, Asa, amazing to chat to you guys about season two of Sex Ed. We are another season later, another mm. year later. 40 million streams later. Mm. How have you guys grown up alongside your characters? Oh, um, mm. <coughs> I mean, I feel like I, over the last two years, doing season one, season two, I think just in general, it's made me a lot more sort of confident and comfortable. It's particularly talking about sex. Mm. Um, I just feel it's made me realize how normal it is, like how it's nothing to be kind of awkward. It's like, yeah. it's, like it's it is. It's part. It's like eating, part of life. and it's it's a part of life. And I feel like this show, just show does a great job of um, of, of showing that, presenting mm. that. And I took a lot. I took something away from that. I think personally. If only you could show Otis the same. I know. <laughs> Do you know I'm, I'm for only. If only. Yeah. Chuty, what about you? Um, oh, that's a very that's a very good question, George. I feel like I I think. I feel like I like think about things a lot more <laughs> deeply than I used to because um, I guess when I guess you have to when when you're conf- confronted with a show like this where the writing is so great and it's and it's so thoughtful and it's like uh, presented issues to me that I wasn't aware of um, that people go through and I just uh, really like kind of opened my eyes I guess in a sense as to things about the world mm. maybe it's really kind of I guess growing up it's a good question because like I guess it's made me think like made me really understand like how important representation is how important diversity is all these things so um I, I reckon that I'm thinking a lot more mm. which is a, always a good thing you know it is always a good thinking thing. is good yeah. kind of alongside along the lines of representation you know I think we can all agree that this show champions the lgbtq plus community like Mm. no other show on television what was it like for you guys being a part of a show that champions it so Mm. much and Mm. especially as you know it shows a straight man Mm. and an lgbtq plus man being Mm. best friends and having no problems in their friendship whatsoever as well Mm. yeah i mean it's it's beautiful i think it is beautiful to see something like that and and for it to not for it to not be there for the sake of being there, it's just you believe these characters that they have been friends for their entire life, mm. and they are who they are. And not only that, but the school around them. Yes, Eric's bullied, but he's not bullied because he's gay. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's it, it just feels very progressive and very mm. inclusive. Mm. Um, and as you said, like, it just it, it gives a voice for all of these uh, these communities and these people. Yeah. Um, and yeah. it's in it's it's, um, it's so important. <laughs> I keep saying that word, but it's very important it to, to see that on screen, to see different stories on screen, to see LGBT stories played out on screen in a really uh, in a really nuanced and and great way, like we do in Sex Ed. Because like pointing to the cast, <laughs> pointing to the cast in a really great way, just because like you know it helps to educate. Representation like educates, mm. and you know hate can be bred from ignorance, and so like educating people on and representing people from all walks of life on screen is very important. And especially because I think this uh, show also pushes through taboos on sex. Like, again, no other show I think no. we've ever seen on British TV. <laughs> For example, the masturbation scene. I'm just going to put it out there with yeah. the whole face. <laughs> I mean, has that ever, was there ever that awkwardness on set at all? Or was it just, nope, going for it? It was pretty, I feel like at this point, any awkwardness has pretty much gone out the window. I mean, <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it's, yeah. No, I actually think it, it, mm. there's very little awkwardness <laughs> now. And you see the humor in it. And you <laughs> yeah, see yeah. It's, to pick. it's like, yeah. it's, and it's, and it is, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous what we do for a living. Mm. Uh, just sort of pretending to wank on camera <laughs> for days. For days. Uh, <laughs> that was like, like a multiple week. Multiple days. Remember like scheduled Different in like locations. Autism wank week. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I swear to God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. But another day at the office. Yeah. Another day at another the office. Another day at the office. Really. So this this week we're doing intense week. This yeah. week we're doing wank. Yeah. It's like those are the weeks we go through. So I step, I step into my trailer, have my costume, t-shirt, 
corduroy trousers, jacket, boner. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All ready to go. All ready to go. Tools for the day. And yeah. and but also as well the kind of theme on family relationships because something that we spoke about in our first interview was the touching scenes between uh, you and Gillian Anderson's character. Mm. Um, you know, has there been a much more noticeable family atmosphere on set? It's, 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 it started it's off just, strong. Yeah, it started, it started off strong. I feel like we've just gotten closer. Retained. Like it's, it's, yeah. um, if anything, it's it feels very. It feels like a familiar family. Yeah. Um, and we definitely found that in season one. And then season two, because we had already established that, we can then kind of push it even mm. further in, in some cases. Mm. What did you guys think was the most shocking moment of this season? I haven't seen the whole thing. Yet. We've not seen it. Oh, no. no. yeah. Oh. Wait, does you this guys mean have I've seen, seen more than I? Like, I was going to say, does this mean I've seen more than you guys? Yeah. In the car. Everyone keeps telling us, that, oh, we love the second season. I'm like, well, I'm glad you do. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen it. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, so, well, most shocking of what we've. I mean, I. Per- <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, I love um, this. It's just we go to explain, and I'm just yeah. laughing already. I just, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking not, forward I need to, to the party. Myself. I'm, so I'm, looking, <laughs> I'm looking forward to the party. The party, the party. Episode six. Oh, and the aftermath of the party. And the, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. All I'll say to that is, would you guys ever <laughs> invite or make a party <laughs> at someone else's house? At someone else. <laughs> Ne- never. Unlike your never. character, Judy, Eric yeah. just is like, yeah, party at Osterberg's Yeah, 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 I know, yeah. yeah. I yeah. brought everyone. Yeah, I, Eric. I know. Wow. <laughs> um, I wanted, you know, Eric wanted Otis to have a good time. He's looking out for you. He's looking out for you. He wanted you to have a good time. I, I wanted a small gathering. Do you a know small what I mean? gathering with a roast chicken. Like, come on. I got, yeah. So no he, spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers, it, but... You'll see what we mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, party. I was going to ask, actually, uh, Asa, can you make a good roast chicken? Uh, n- no, I don't actually cook very much meat, um, just in mm. general. I mostly cook veg and mm. fish. If I cook meat, I cook sausages. <laughs> <laughs> You do a good, um, what is that curry that you cook for me? Thai red was it curry. Sweet? The, thai was, the Thai red satay, curry. Sort of satay red curry infusion. Uh-huh. Yeah. Adventurous cook, I like Michelin it. Michelin star. Um, I do kind of want to bring it back to the kind of whole And the big beans of paprika. <laughs> <laughs> you had that, didn't you? In the, in the no, mayonnaise not, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've not had that. I've not, not had, had I've not had the beans yet. I was just saying, I was just saying. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I've not had Ace beans yet. I mean, this is what I love. Just the banter on set obviously just must have been amazing. But I do kind of want to bring it back to a poignant kind of moment or just a poignant kind of reflection about what this show's about. What do you think this show does for people? Um, I think that this show, um, I don't know how to quite articulate it, but like, well, I guess like representation, being able to like turn on the screen on a platform such as Netflix, like it's just got such a huge reach. And so it's amazing that you know, sex education and all that it stands for is on a, a platform like it. But I think like being able to turn on Netflix and see your feel like yourself is represented on screen, I think is is really important. And I hope that it, um, I really hope that it empowers people. And um, I really hope that it it, it, it it changes people's perceptions on things as well because and, and starts conversations and starts, starts conversations, conversations yeah with parents and their kids with parents and other parents mm. topics that I hard yet hard to talk about but the show's kind of opened that doorway yeah. and kind of found a common ground for people to yeah. to then start the dialogue do you think we need to talk about sex more i think for for most people probably yes uh but there i mean there are definitely people who it's, it it comes much more naturally to them and then they're much mm. more comfortable. I've certainly become more comfortable talking about sex since working on this show. Mm. Um, but I don't think sex will ever not be slightly sort of mysterious mm. and slightly kind of, not taboo, but mm. especially with teenagers. Because it's something so personal. It's, it's, it's always so, going to so personal. It's, not gonna, it's, it's never going to be too casual. Like, mm. what did you, what did you have for breakfast? Who just sleep with last night? It's like <laughs> it's not. It's not on the same. But you know, it can be. That. It could. Maybe it will. <laughs> maybe it will. 